Too often when we think about politics, we get stuck in a really false dichotomy between the big, great individuals, the Hitlers and the Stalins and the Churchills and the de Gaulles, and the kind of the nameless masses, which somehow we guess have something to do with what's going on, but we can never quite fix what their role is. But if we start to focus in on some individual spaces and places, we can start to put names to those faces, as it were, and those people, those great shapers of political history become real. So if we look at what goes on in the Putilov metalworks in St. Petersburg, it's in this metal, it's, it's the it's the, it's the women from this metalworks that parade to the Tsar's palace asking for a relaxation in, uh, in political control and an increase in wages that leads to the 1905 revolution in St. Petersburg. And it's these women that are fired upon. Now these women crop up again in 1917 when at the, at the depths of the First World War, when Russia was starving, they march to the Tsar again asking for his help. But this time they demand, they demand demand his, uh, his, his assistance. And when these women are confronted with the Cossacks, they use their allegiances from the shop floor to defeat them. They say to these Cossacks, you cannot shoot at Russian mothers. And at that point, these women from the Putilov metal factory are confronting the Cossacks. And at that point, the Cossacks desert. And the next day, the Tsar resigned. So we can see in these little dynamics of the types of allegiances, the political formations, the constructions that are, that, are, that are formed in certain factories at certain places, on these types of associations, the whole history of empires can change. Now, this means if we're going to understand whether it's going to be the bars of Hamburg and the growth of the Nazi party, whether it's going to be the trade union offices of Milan and the ways that Mussolini has to battle through the streets to get his voice heard, or even in the ways that a liberal democratic party like the Labour Party has to slowly piece together its support in each factory, each mine across the north of England, we start to see that underneath all of these great men, underneath all of these leaders, there are real people in real places pursuing real objectives.